Alright, hello everyone, my name is Dennis and Dan, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4. We are still playing the Cossacks expansion as Japan. Um, yeah, so in the last episode we fed some stuff to Beijing, which has now grown quite considerably. Considerably. There you go, English and such. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty impressive. Um, and in this episode I want to take a look. I talked about, uh, I think, uh, creating additional client states and feed those as well uh, but what I first want to do is to see if we can actually annex Beijing and I know that we have to wait uh, for about uh, three more years and that will cost us 700 diplo points uh, luckily we have uh, almost enough um, so what I want to do is see if that can still be done and if it can be done then we can start to look in other uh, into other uh, client states as well um, so yeah, we don't have a lot of time left in this game, about 70 years, I, th I think. Um, so we'll have to uh, spend our time wisely. Uh, yeah, we are still coring some stuff as well. Um, not sure, I think that's all of this, yes. So yeah, basically everything is fine and not a lot can happen anymore to our power at least. Uh, white piece, Ning and Ming. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I'd expected uh, Ning to be able to take some territories. <clears throat> but I think uh, Ming has uh, started to build up some stuff. Oh dear, what a, a lot of uh, CBs. And it seems Yue is having some problems with uh, Ming noble rebels. And Yue has uh, grown quite a lot as well since the last episode. Uh, internal conflicts in Majapahit. We still have some forces here. We could do some additional wars, but I don't know. Majapahit, yes, you can. Um, we are actually quite overextended already. And we've got some rebels incoming, apparently. In uh, Phnom Mei, I think that's here. Yes, it is. Um, so what we'll do is probably increase our army maintenance to full. There you go. How's our army force limit anyway? 144 out of 187. Quite impressive. Uh, I think we won't spend any points right now, just because we uh, need to um, save up for the annexation of Beijing. I want to quickly see... There we go. I have my timer concealed. Reduce overextension. Yes, we are doing that. So let's pick that mission. Finally, a mission that we can can use. Diplomatic reputation plus one for 10 years. Well, that's an interesting uh, reward. It's not too impressive, but at least it's a quest that we can do. Religious unity is very low currently, 73%. Uh, I think that's basically um, because we have been spreading out so, uh, so thinly. Um, so a lot of different religions in our... Uh, kingdom in our empire I should say uh, declining elephant populations price of ivory changes okay John poor is cancelled military access rights okay that's fair enough John poor is uh, becoming a force to be reckoned with as is uh, Bukhara I think it's uh, grown quite quite well Russia hasn't become the force that it could potentially be I've seen games where they just uh, gobble up all of this and then become a very powerful nation. I'm sure they are still powerful, but uh, I don't know. I think they are they, they were halted by uh, the fact that they are in a personal union under Sweden since 1689. And I think before that as well. Russia's liberty desire is uh, 94%. Uh, pretty impressive. Uh, white peace between Zhang Pur and Ming. Yeah, so it could be a, a, a war between Sweden and uh, Russia. Commonwealth is having some good difficulties as well. Oh, we've got a revolt actually over here. But they can't even siege this province. Okay. Let's go there. Do we have a good leader? I think that's our only leader, so uh, it should be fine. Is that actually... That's not the, uh, the rebellion, is it? Can we see... Pegu separatists. Yeah, Tavoy. Where are they uh, going? Okay. 
Corruption. Lose stability or ignore them. No, we will lose stability, I think. Okay, they are actually going here. Why did they spawn over there, though? That's very interesting. Um, I think we'll raise this a bit. No, we'll probably use the admin points to make some cores first. I think that's more important at this point. I really want to get rid of that overextension and be one solid country again. Okay, so that was an easy uprising uh, to um, defeat. I think we'll return to uh, Phnom Penh. Uh, some casualties, so we are losing some money. That's fine. Time is running on. Well, I'm really interested to see what will happen if we uh, start to uh, uh, annex Beijing. Uh, North America colonies. Yeah, colonies, I don't know. We haven't really done a lot with them. Have we lost some stuff here? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I think... I think we would have heard about it if uh, Ottoman would have attacked California, right? Let's just improve relations there. Uh, and I had hoped that they would start to actually expand on their own, but they didn't do that. USA is uh, grown very large, as is Nova Hollandia. That's very interesting. Independence supported by Haiti. Oh, that's so nice of Haiti. Actually, we, Haiti is pretty, uh, pretty impressive itself. And independent, it seems. British Mexico, French Colombia, Brazil is independent. That's nice. And La Plata is as well. Peru. Very nice. All these countries have become uh, independent. Except for uh, French Colombia here. And British Mexico, of course. Oregon is independent as well. British Alaska. And the Ottomans. I mean, that's very interesting that the Ottomans should do some uh, uh, colonization. Cheyenne is actually still existent. Yeah. What's this? This is Haiti as well. Haiti is very powerful. Uh, yeah, okay. Look at that. So Haiti is here and then they have colonies here. No, not really colonies. Overseas stuff. Haitian, Haitian Mississippi. <laughs> Oh, Navajo also exists. So, so actually, quite some um, some natives still around. I was actually talking in the comments uh, with one of our viewers here to um, uh, about the possibility of taking up a uh, native tribe in one of the next videos, uh, one of the next playthroughs, I should say. Um, and it's always difficult as a uh, as a native nation to um, get ahead of the Western nations because you really need those western countries to westernize but then at the same time that means that the western country is actually near you as well and that means that they can easily defeat you should they want to so you're in a sort of balancing act with uh, with european nations or western nations at least but a very interesting challenge i'm not sure if it's is if it's uh, the right challenge for us to take on in uh, mario nostrum i'm still uh, thinking about what country we can play there um, very confident that we will play a, uh, we'll do a playthrough uh, in in Mario Nostrum, the new expansion pack. I think it's coming up in a couple of days already. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm looking into uh, getting access to that as well, uh, and then we'll probably finish this playthrough first, or at least at the same time, and start a new playthrough with Mario Nostrum at the same time. So uh, be sure to um, keep on the lookout for that. I am by no means done with. Uh, EU4. And Stellaris as well, coming up as well. I, th uh, I think we talked about that in the last video as well. I'm very much looking forward to that. Sort of EU4 in space. Who wouldn't want to do that, right? It's gonna be awesome. But I think that's uh, coming to us in May. So that's uh, some time out. Or May? Maybe June? I don't know. Some time away still. So uh, we'll have to be patient for that. But I'm... Um, I'm I don't know, if circumstances allow me to, then uh, we'll probably do a uh, playthrough on uh, Stellaris as well. Core provinces. And Mare Nostrum before that. So, a lot of Paradox stuff coming up. Hope you like Paradox. Well, I guess you do, otherwise you wouldn't be here, because we're also playing City Skylines. It's also uh, not not, pub not developed by uh, Paradox, but actually developed by them. Uh, published by them, jeez. My English. Long day at work and such. Can't talk. Ah. Anyways, this seems good. Uh, can we already annex Beijing? 
Not yet, we'll have to wait uh, half a year more. So just to round off that little story I was having, uh, I'm looking forward to the uh, to the future on the channel here. Um, still having a lot of fun creating these videos for you guys, so uh, yeah. And I hope you still like the videos. Gain the core province, very nice. I'm very happy that you guys are here, so uh, thanks for that in any case. <laughs> Okay, I'm very curious to see what will happen with uh, Beijing here. I'm, I'm very afraid that they might be too big to annex, but on the other hand, uh, we are, as a country, very large, so... Have we not been doing well with the rebels here? Yeah, we are. Um, I think we'll just jump in and then uh, wait for the reinforcements. Not wait for the reinforcements. Yeah, no, no problems with the rebels. There's actually a 26 stack there as well, as well uh, with an even better leader here. Uh, let's uh, get a leader in there. Well, he's got a lot of movement, but uh, I think this guy is better, actually. Movement is not... Well, it's, it's interesting, but it's not really useful. Um, support for dissidents abroad. Lose some ducats. Or lose prestige. We will lose some ducats. I'm not afraid of Machapahit and their uh, opinion of ours. So this was an easy fight. Uh, Cancelled military access rights. It's fine. Okay. Uh, I think the time has come to annex. Do you wish to start the process of absor absorbing Beijing into your country? This will occupy one of your diplomats since the process is done. It will take 12 years and cost 5 diplo points per month. So it's actually pretty expensive, but look at the territories that we get in return. I think, um, let's see, this this amount of, of the Diplo points probably a result of, well, the cost is based on the development level of your vassal's provinces, excluding provinces that are your course. Ah, the cost can change during the process, process of annexation. Now, I'm not sure if um, core provinces... Yeah, it looks like Beijing has already cored these provinces. So I think this is the lowest uh, cost that we will get for an actually annexing these provinces. Yeah, it's, it's got cores on all of them. And we can't create a core here, I think. I wouldn't know how to do that. Uh, hire mercenaries, recruit regiment. No. Uh, so, uh, just annexing will do, I think. And then they will automatically be our course, I believe, right? Anyways, let's uh, start, I think. Sent. It will cost us one diplomat for the entire duration, but that's fine. Uh, 12 years, though. It's quite a long time. Is there anything that we could do to uh, speed this up? Uh, let's see. I don't know if we can tell. We should probably be able to tell this. Oh, we could actually... Um... Oh, don't have enough. Okay. Uh, colonial Ventures. Abandon the idea, I think. No, actually. Invest in naval force. Right. Um, slavery now banned in Sweden. Okay. Not really uh, of importance to us, because we aren't trading in slaves, I believe. Truce with Champa has ended. Senui has ended. Uh, yeah. I'm just thinking about what we should do here. We are still at a truce with Ming. Um, for about six more years. So that's actually pretty long. Um, ah, there we go. Annexation process. Base plus two. Same region plus one. Diplomatic reputation plus two. And that's the speed, right? But that's also what increases the uh, Diplo points each month. But that's sort of logical because uh, the faster you go, it doesn't mean that it should become cheaper. So if you're going faster, then you're using more, po more points each month. I think that's how it works here. Looking at this from a, a logical perspective, at least. I'm not sure if that's how it works, uh, how it actually works. Um, same religion, diplomatic reputation. So, we should try and get some more Diplo rep. 
And we are actually working on that with this uh, uh, reward here. Which will fire once this one, this core is done. Um, so we can we can see what that will do to the jeez, um, oh what that will do to the uh, we'll, we'll get our armies in there to the time it takes to uh, annex Beijing. It doesn't say though how long it will still take. It's sort of annoying. Yeah, oh well, uh, we can we can just look at that uh, right right where. I just had it. I lost it out of sight. It's sort of annoying. This is my usual process when I can't find anything. I'm just frantically clicking buttons and then hopefully I will see it somewhere. Seriously, though. Ah! I had to click on Beijing. Okay. So we are now at Diplo Rep 2. And then we will be at Diplo Rep 3. Um, let's move in. Do we have someone with Diplo Rep? Yes, we do. But he's level 2. I still think it might be worth it. I, uh, although he's 10.4 monthly. We can't afford that. We're barely making any money. That's really uh, something... <coughs> excuse me. Something I want to focus on in the next uh, playthrough. This is amazing. Oh, there we go. Um, is uh, the amount of money we make. Our my economy isn't my strong suit, which you probably already could tell. Um, yeah, so I really want to look into that in a uh, in the next playthrough. And I think uh, perhaps the Mara Nostrum uh, expansion is ideally suited for that because it, it holds some uh, changes to uh, the way sea naval stuff works. Um, so I'm not sure, that could actually mean that the uh, trading stuff will also work. Oh, we actually defeated those guys just by uh, them crossing over. Well, that was easy. Yeah, so we'll see. Very interesting. Um, okay, so what I want to do now is wait for this and see what happens with the uh, progress here. Uh, let's click on Beijing. Let's see. October 1764. Okay. Discovered an agent. Well, that's fine. Recall with... Oh, Korea has uh, accepted peace. Very interesting. They actually picked uh, two provinces here as well. Good for them. We could try and attack Korea at some point, but I'm not sure if it's uh, useful at this point. Do they have any allies ex aside from us? No, they don't. Eh, could be a good target. Right. Okay. All those rebellions, though. Uh, let's get you guys together. Uh, we're too late, though. That's sh yeah, just too late. So it's gonna be some separatism there. That's all right. Okay, the core is almost done. Let's see what this will do. Uh, October seventeen sixty four. Rebels have crossed the border again, and we won again. Okay. October 1764. January 1763. Uh, so that actually uh, was almost two years off the time that it will take to uh, annex Beijing. So now I'm really thinking about that advisor. It will cost us about eight gold coins a month more, though. I think we'll do it. Uh, we will lose a lot of money here, but we will uh, counter that with army maintenance. Are there still any factions that will spawn? Cambodians? Um, well, perhaps the uh, Ayatuyans. Um, so, uh, well, it's fine. Uh, national tax modifier, please. I don't need any colonists because we aren't creating any colonies. So this should shoot up a bit, at least. Well, that's not what I was hoping for. It was about 10 gold coin cents. It's like nothing. Oh, here's the integration uh, thingy. Derp derp. So now it's actually costing us 7 diplo points a month. Um, 
November 1761, so we are actually now three years closer than we were before. And that's actually only six years away. And at that point we will just get this entire stuff here. Which is amazing. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Look at that, Vampire 100k. Very impressive as well. Very, very nice. And also, we didn't actually have to have this in the bank because we are... I think just spending the amount of points that we get anyway each month. Let's uh, let's look if that's true. Six. So we are annexing Beijing is costing us minus seven. Uh, so we are actually losing one point each each month. So that's uh, that's nothing. Take capital Tarunga, Australia, and Terra Australe. Not sure what that is supposed to, Oh, it's French. Yeah, okay. So it's actually not Australe, it's Austral. I think. Although, I must admit, my French is bad. Pretty, pretty bad, indeed. I'm, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with how things are going. I'm, I'm very happy that we are able to actually uh, annex Beijing, even though they are quite big, quite large. Um... So I think I, we'll have to sort of think about a uh, plan to wrap up this uh, this series. What 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 else we want to do when it comes to uh, uh, the time that we still have left? Uh, okay, someone died. No, ah, oh, it's the Diplo uh, dude that we just hired for I don't know 160 gold coins. How annoying. Uh, I guess we'll go with the level 2 dude again because of his uh, trade efficiency uh, bonus. Let's see what that does to us. Well, it helps. Reduce inflation, I think, will help us a lot as well, yes. I won't spend another uh, tick here because we are only at 1%. Uh, we do have gold provinces, so that's pro pro probably the, uh, the, the problem that we have. Rebel factions. Bowding. I'm guessing that's somewhere around here. Yeah, it's over there. Uh, I think we'll raise the army maintenance again. We will lose some money, but it's doable, so... Ming went bankrupt once again. Oh, Ming. I keep being surprised at how how hard Ming has fallen from, uh, from its uh, position as uh, the ultimate ruler of uh, Asia here. Because we couldn't touch them in the beginning of the game. There was no way that we could... Uh, well, and perhaps in the beginning of the game we should have uh, attacked them sooner and uh, prevented them uh, from expanding. But once they had expanded, then at that point there was not a lot we could do about them. And eventually we managed to uh, to work around that by uh, gaining some lands in other places, like uh, right over here. And uh, here as well. Uh, so yeah, I think we did pretty well. Uh, although we could have could have done better, but at least we defeated Ming as the uh, ultimate power in Asia, and I think we probably have the position uh, that they first have had. So that's great. Uh, grant them privileges. I lose 50 diplo power. Merchant nobility loses loyalty. Let's take a look at who needs loyalty more. Well, actually, it's no different. No difference. So. In that case, we can look at the Diplo points, I think, because we have less of those. There you go. Oh, let's actually increase the... Uh... Ooh, that's pretty bad. Oh, there we go. It's up again. Lost uh, loyalty there for a sec, which uh, gave us some uh, negative effects. Land maintenance modifier plus 7.5% is actually pretty bad. I know we are at too many Diplo uh, relations, but one of them will uh, disappear in a couple of years when Beijing is annexed, so no worries there. Um, I wanted to get our stability up. There you go. Bam. Right. I think we'll uh, put in a cut now. Um, yeah, as I said, I will think about what we uh, want to do. Is that the flag of Australia? That's very impressive. Did they just change, though? I think they did. So probably they've become independent then. Let's improve relations. Welcome to the world. Uh, I'm not even sure if that's true, but no, nah, it's fine. Oh, and we can actually see New Zealand now as well. Terra Australis is there as well, but 
Australia is there as well, so that's gonna be a, a big fight. Um, yeah. So, in any case, I, I will think a bit about uh, what we want to spend our last days in this playthrough with. Although we still have about 60 years, so we can still wait some wars. Um, what would be great if we could, uh, if we could actually uh, connect ourselves up here and here. Would that be possible? I don't think so, because it would require going around UA. Or attacking UA, of course. Attacking UA might actually be good, because then we could get Lang, Pua Lang Prabang, go to Dali or uh, the Khmer, and then get some provinces in UA, and then some provinces in Ming, and then we would be uh, connected up. It would just be a symbolic victory, of course, a symbolic goal, because there's not much point to connecting up these two, uh, other than uh, safe travel across land. Um, and I'm not sure if we can manage that in the time that we still have. Well, as I said, there's a kind of a good thing that there's a lot of countries in between because then you can just attack them all at the same time. Uh, rather than having to wait for truces to expire. I mean, that's an interesting idea. I will think about it. If you have any ideas yourself, then feel free to leave them down below. And I will be sure to read them, of course. Uh, yeah, so for now, thank you guys for watching another episode. I uh, really enjoy you guys being here, as I said before. Um, don't forget to leave a like. If you like the video and if you want to do something back or something, I don't know. Thanks in advance, I guess. There you go. Right, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.